From the edge of Music City, on the air and over the web, this is Music City Roots, live from the Loveless Cafe. I'm Keith Bilbrey, welcoming you to our weekly radio showcase for the finest roots in Americana music, from and passing through Nashville, Tennessee. Here in the barn or out there over live radio on the web, give yourselves a big round of applause. Wave at the folks back home. Well, you all sound great. We're glad you're here. So did all the bands at Soundcheck earlier today. It's going to be a stellar night of music. Nothing less than stellar. And apparently comedy, too, because our musical host has been on a roll lately. You may have noticed that. You know him. You love him. Me, I just kind of tolerate him. Tonight, he shows us another side of Jim Lauderdale. That jacket is from when he used to sing in a barbershop quartet. Would you welcome Grammy Award-winning songwriter-singer, Jim Lauderdale! Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Keith. That's such a nice build-up. Thank Sweet. you. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> but to show you, Keith, there's no hard feelings. Okay. Uh, there's never, never any hard feelings. I mm. want to let you pick my song tonight. You know, I always come in here and I have the best intentions to do a, a new song, and sometimes I do, but uh, tonight, I've, you know, I've been rushing from the studio and things, and uh, I want you to pick. Okay, uh, let, me, yeah. let me think. Anything. There are so many songs yeah, I love I know. to hear you do. I know, there are if so I many. If I were you, isn't that a great song? You Don't Seem to Miss Me? I know, I got it. Halfway Down. Patty Loveless Half, recorded. That was that. what you were thinking too. Love okay, that well, song. That, uh, Great right. minds think alike. I right? will. Okay, for you guys and for you folks, I'll do that. This. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Raindrops on the treetops, waiting there to fall. I know how they're feeling, but I'm only, yes, I'm only halfway down. Fighting with the devil, harder all the time. Sink in to his level, but I'm only, yes, I'm only halfway down, halfway down, just getting started. Well, I'm getting on my journey now, but I'm only going halfway down. Halfway down, it's a little bit farther Well, I believe you better catch me now Cause I'm only going halfway down All right, here's where the pedal steel and the guitar go Sip in shallow water Sharks out for the kill Almost getting bottom But I'm only, yes I'm only Halfway down Halfway down, just getting started Well, I'm again and on my journey now But I'm only going halfway down Halfway down, just a little bit farther Well, I believe you better catch me now Cause I'm only going halfway down Well, I hope she's going to catch me now Cause I'm only going halfway down Yes, I'm only going halfway down Yes, I'm only going halfway down (laughs) 
Thank you, everybody. Put the skull on it, huh? Thanks so much, and welcome to Music City Roots, live from the Loveless Barn. Well, it's great to have y'all with us tonight. And hey, before we get started, let me uh, introduce to you our MC. Sounds like we might need some couples counseling. He's. <laughs> Sounds like we, hey, hey, let me introduce you to our MC over here. <laughs> sounds like we might need some, oh, oh. <laughs> sounds like we might need some couples oh, counseling. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't. He's Tennessee. <laughs> sounds like you and That's I might for, need guys. some couples oh. count. That's, yeah. And I was just about to pay you a compliment. Well, I can't thank believe you. this. Gosh, that would be a first. Thank that, you. On that, but, song, uh, on that song, you sounded just like Patty Loveless and Lloyd Green. It was amazing. Well, well thank you. Lloyd thank Green's you a steel much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anytime. Um, well, anyway, he's Tennessee's <laughs> broadcasting great, Mr. Keith Bilberry. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. That's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> and over here, stage right, stereo left, he writes the story of our show every week on our blog and keeps the questions coming for our guests. He's our journalist and interview guy, Craig Havighurst. Hey, everybody. Thanks for that tune, Jim. We've got a lot of new music from Jim Lauderdale week in, week out. He comes and tries new songs out, but every now and again, we got to go to the catalog. That's true. So good call there, Thank you. Keith yeah. Bilbrey. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming in on a cold winter night. Uh, we've got a great show tonight, and I'll tell you about the lineup in two seconds. I want to say, as usual, thank you to our friends at Hippie Radio, 94.5 FM here in Nashville. Yes, hey, Barb. Hey, guys. So good to have you. Uh, Loveless Cafe, of course. They put the roof over our head. And uh, chicken and biscuits for the bands and their crew and their supporters. And so they keep us fed. We have Blackstone Beer to thank for our lineup each week and for the beer back there in the corners. Locally made Blackstone Beer. And the Southern provides lunch for our crew. Thanks to all you guys and everybody that supports Music City Roots. Appreciate it so much. On tap and that Blackstone Brewery lineup. Um, one artist I've, I've told you guys here in the barn, and I, let me tell you all out there on Radio Land or watching on the web, we do have sar sad news. Our friend Susie Bogus was uh, did her album release party in New York City on Monday. Was supposed to fly yesterday out of the stormy New York, delayed an entire day, and I think her flight even today was canceled. And they are stuck along with thousands of other people. So she, she, Susie couldn't be here tonight. We're going to work on a makeup date. We love her and uh, want to hear the, some of those Merle Haggard songs very, very soon. But we do, of course, have uh, the uh, stars of the Grand Ole Opry, stars internationally of uh, Western music and comedy, Riders in the Sky are here. I know you've come to see them. So thank you so much. There's a fellow who um, might or may not be a part of Writers in the Sky, who's also got a uh, little act that uh, I think is going to be a lot of fun, and we will call him Say No More. It's Freddie Labore. Oh, yeah. Give him a hand. Can't wait to talk to him, find out how he maintains a dual life. And uh, we've got some funky, funky music from Nashville artist and growing uh, national star, Space Capone. You've never heard anything like him on our stage before. It's going to be great. And we're going to get a full-length set from our first guest from the wilds of Minnesota. He's got a travel story, too, boy. I uh, hope you'll share some of that with us while we go. Jim will tell you about him. The sophistication in the writing, arranging, and recording of this next artist's work belies his years. He's just 20 years old. But in his own home region of Minnesota, folks are remarking on his rapid growth and exquisite songs. We're excited to present John Mark Nelson. Yeah! Well, thanks, friends. It's so lovely to be here in Nashville. What a beautiful city you live in, and it's really an honor for us to be here at the Loveless Barn. Breathe deeply for the life in which you wait. 
every chance you take Dreams never take me far away Hide me from your love Wait to call your name And when you slow down you'll surely say yeah, I know Blowing in the wind there's a voice that calls my name Don't fear your life boy grow change Thanks so much, friends. Thank you. Well, if I'll be honest, we've been through quite an experience to get here to Nashville. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a, a storm front moving across the entire United States of America. And uh, we planned on coming down here in one day, 14 hour straight shot, 1999 Suburban pulling a trailer. Good plan, right? <laughs> Everyone's like, eh. <laughs> Six hours into our trip, we slam into the back of a snowplow and total our vehicle. It's done. It's sitting in a shop in F Fort Madison. Iowa. Done, it's done, Iowa. Uh, we had to find our way to a diner where two of us called it for a cab. We got the cab, drove to Keokuk, rented two cars, came back, loaded everything out of our trailer and truck, loaded into two rental cars, pressed on till two in the morning, stayed at a Super 8, <laughs> woke up at seven and got here 10 minutes before sound check. So we're honored to be here. Thanks, Nashville.
There's some great pictures of the truck on the website and such. Check them out. This is a brand new song I've been working on. This is a song called Shorebird.
Jake Ermiting. How about this band I get to play with? <laughs> It's a, I'll tell you what, it's a rare thing. Um, to, be an, to be an artist and to be passionate about something is, is, is one thing, and, th and there's lots of artists that do that, but to be an artist that's passionate about something and have people that come alongside you in your life and push you towards that and support you in that, um, I don't think there would be nearly as many artists as there are in the world if it wasn't for those people. And these guys behind me are those people for me, so let's give it up for these guys. If they're still up on stage with me after we totaled a car, rode in the back of a state trooper vehicle, and uh, stayed in a Super 8 for four hours, uh, that says a lot about their character. Speaking of, I'm gonna introduce these guys. Uh, to my right, your left on the guitar, give it up for Matt Patrick. <laughs> Behind me on the drum set, Mr. Nate Babs. You've heard him play, he's pretty, he's pretty okay at what he does. Mr. Jake Armerding on mandolin and fiddle. Benjamin Kelly playing the upright bass, everybody. I'm the one that totaled the car, so I definitely need to be here too. <laughs> and my name's John Mark Nelson, and I'm Woo! so honored to be here at the Loveless Barn playing for Music City Roots. It's really a treat. play you a brand new one if I can get this gu guitar to work here. That's kind of one of the key components. How you guys doing so far? <laughs> After getting hit with a snowplow, this doesn't do much to me, so <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> you get this stuff figured out by the time you're 22. <laughs> that great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. All right, friends, this is a brand new tune, and it's called The Moon and the Stars. So thanks for, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. It means a lot to be in a... I've never been to Nash before, so it's a beautiful... Yeah, thank you. It's a beautiful place. You guys live in a very, very beautiful place, so thank you for uh, making me feel welcome. Yeah. 
Thanks, everybody. Mr. Jake Armoring again. Well, that's a lot of fun for us. I hope it's fun for you guys, too. <laughs> We were worried maybe coming down to a thriving music city like Nashville, we'd stick out like a sore thumb with our northern vibe. Do we stick out or do, do we have a home here in Nashville? Maybe if we came back? <laughs> you allow long hairs down here? Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing to know because uh, we like your food. Uh, we came in, the first thing we did was where can we get a good, good set of biscuits? <laughs> you don't have to go far from this place right here. We went right down the street. Well, friends, you've been such a wonderful audience, such a kind audience. Thank you for uh, giving us friendly smiles and, uh, and friendly uh, support uh, a long way from home after a fairly harrowing 24 hours. So uh, we got one more tune for you guys, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Let's give it up for uh, the Music City Roots organization for hosting an event like this. We get to come together and we get to celebrate music, which is something I think we all enjoy. <laughs> You can feel free to dance or clap your hands on this one if you want to. How different things would have gone if I had used a song to further a lie along to torture you when I'm gone. Call in a lie or a sin. Someone in those days, but those days are gone.
the strength in my own hand I can stand, I can stand Finally leaning on the everlasting And I'll do what he can Didn't see the power of the strength in my own John Mark Nelson, have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Music City Roots. Yeah. That's John Mark Nelson. It's great. John Mark Nelson, that's so fine. It's great, man. Thank y'all so much. Wow. I'll tell you what, that was fantastic, wasn't it? John Mark Good Nelson. Stuff. You know what? And make sure you go purchase, you know, some of their CDs and whatever they're selling, T-shirts and stuff. I mean, I, I, what an unbelievable story just to get here. And uh, we're, sure, we're sure glad they did. And, uh, hey, folks, don't forget that Music City Roots is now on public television thanks to generous underwriters like Belmont University and Colonel Littleton. There's a one-hour show that airs here in Nashville on NPT Channel 8 at 7 p.m. and across the country, all over the place on PBS affiliates. So tune in your set or your DVRs. And um, I'll tell you what, speaking of tuning in, I'm gonna... Oh, mm. there he goes on the biscuits, oh. folks. Uh, Where was I? I can't remember. <laughs> you know, Keith, they, I have Ricky's to taste out. a new batch that comes out. I'm kind of got this side job, you know, in the music business, you can't really count on it, so <laughs> I've, I'm a biscuit inspector, and so I get to, you know, make sure it's the right consistency, uh, you know, and everything. Anyway, so, without they're, any... They're, I mean, they're good hot, they're good cold, they're good the day after, it, it makes no difference. They're it doesn't good. matter to me, they're yeah. so good, I don't care if they're a year old. So, well, the PBS thing, so can I put in my resume that I was in a television series with Jim Lauderdale? Sure you could. Man. You the sure, doors you of that's sure going to open, let me tell you. And I'll tell you what. So I'm going to turn it over to the man who puts the few into enthusiastic, <laughs> Mr. Keith <laughs> Bilberry. Few. Here we go with the few. I like that. Thank you, Jim. You know, folks, when people around the world think of Tennessee, first things that come to mind are great music. You certainly think of that when you think of Nashville and the Loveless Motel and the Loveless Barn. Great food. No shortage of that around here. And of course, what else? Moonshine. Moonshine. Thank you, Mara. Golly, you have just grown into that part so well. I mean, it used to be kind of moonshine. Now it's, give me that again. Yeah! Big hand for Myra. Is that not good? You're bound for stardom. I don't know how long we'll have you sitting there. You'll be in Hollywood before you know it. That's why we're so thankful for our friends and sponsors at Old Smoky Moonshine, Tennessee's first legal moonshine distilled in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, right there in the heart of the Smokies. Now, whether you're enjoying some of their classic white lightning or tossing a couple of moonshine-soaked cherries in your Coke, they remind you to always shine responsibly. Old Smoky is now available nationwide through your local package store. Here in the barn, the Old Smoky Lightning Lemonade. Been a big hit, right, uh, Myra? Uh, yeah, you like that Lightning Lemonade. Find out more at OldSmokyMoonshine.com. Make sure to like Old Smoky Moonshine on Facebook. And now it's time to go back to Craig. He's over in the chat room, sponsored by Griffin Technology, making it easier for you to connect to play. How about it, Craig? I can't believe who I'm sitting with. Look who I'm sitting with. Ranger Doug, ladies and gentlemen. 
I get to have all the fun over here. I listen to the music. I talk to interesting people. It's good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Craig. Um, Nashville. You've just you've you you were the band was born here, still here, and it's uh, over 30 years, 6,000 shows. 6,545. That's tonight. just amazing. <laughs> and the stunning thing is. 1977 at the, I want to talk about this place, Frank's and Stein's here in a second, but the same guys who are coming out on stage tonight were those guys you were doing that thing with then. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, Joe, Joey's the new kid. He's only been with us 26 years. Mm -hmm. He may work out. <laughs> what, when you, was the first night a pure lark, let's try this on the spur of the moment, or did you work the gig out and the, and the song, was it, how, 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 how much uh, kind of calculation went into that first show? We might have had one rehearsal. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a last minute thing, uh, uh, a lady named Patty Hall, who you may remember, very fine folk singer. Uh, she had a date at Harry Harry's Franks and Steins and got sick. So she called me on short notice and I had been doing sort of a solo singing cowboy thing. And uh, she said, would you fill in for me? And I said, well, I'd, sure, but I'd really want to hear some harmony because that's what I was hearing in my head. Mm -hmm. So I called up to Slim and said, Slim, would you come and play with me? <laughs> We're gonna get his side of this story a little later. He said, well, can I play my acoustic bass? I said, you have to play your acoustic yeah, bass. Really? He said, but I don't have a hat. I said, well, I have a hat. <laughs> he said, okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And we have a third guy named uh, Wendy Bill Collins who uh, played with us at that time, the three of us. We're the original three, and uh, Wendy Bill left after just a couple of months, and Woody Paul joined us. And it's yeah, because that first photo, thing. that famous first photo, has got Woody in it, though. With, is he the one with the long hair? He is, but yeah. no, there's, a, there's an earlier publicity picture than that with, oh, yeah? with Wendy Bill in it. Okay. And so Wendy Bill moves to Florida, and he has a great little lounge act with his wife. Now he's teaching guitar in the, in the music store. And the sign in the music store says, guitar lessons from Bill Collins, founding member of Riders in the Sky. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll just let it, let it, let it, let it slide. Yeah, we, of course, he's yeah. a great guy. Um, were you uh, ed up with Western music, cowboy music, just as long as you can remember? Was it a, or did you come to it a little bit out of a kind of an academic interest and in a discovery? Or, or did you grow up with Roy Rogers on TV? Well, I grew up with Roy Rogers on TV. And I lived in Southern California as a kid. So we had a lot of, I saw live Western music at uh, Knott's Berry Farm. Mm -hmm. And my Finnish uncle, Arvid and Hank, both played uh, guitar and sang. And Arvid yodeled a little bit. So I... I was aware of it, and I'd gone through different musical interests as I got older, and then in 1974, maybe, maybe three, I saw the Sons of the Pioneers live for the first time, mm -hmm. and I, it just blew my hat off. I was, that's the greatest <laughs> thing I ever heard. It's no songs about feeling sorry for yourself or getting drunk. <laughs> you know, all songs about the outdoors and the timber trail and the tumbling tumbleweeds, and yeah. I said, I got to... It just brought everything from my childhood back, and I decided to well, start researching. Well, that's true. You know, you make a point about just what a kind of uh, uh, opposite sort of uh, dichotomy it is with, with what we think of as country, Nashville country music yeah. of, the, of the 60s and 70s. Yeah. Which is was, a lot darker by comparison. That's it true. It was so refreshing, and uh, just uh, I started learning about the songs of Bob Nolan, especially. You know, they're so poetic. He was a brilliant poet right. and a brilliant... Uh, a melody writer as well, and the intricate harmony, and I just, uh, the more I learned about it, the more I, I remembered it, the more I loved it, and the more I wanted to do it. You mentioned yodeling. You're an yeah, amazing is. yodeler. How easily did that come? Uh, that's got, it's tricky. I mean, not everybody can, you can't just do that. Or did you just have a knack? I have a knack, but mm -hmm. there, there is a story to it. I, I grew up hearing it, and my Uncle Arvid, as I say, yodeled, and... Uh, uh, when the big folk scare of the 60s came around and I discovered Jimmy Rogers, I could do that really easily. And, and everybody enjoyed yodeling and got a smile. I moved to Nashville and Lance Lee Roy, who you may know, went over at his house one time and he said, boy, you're a good yodeler. You ought to hear this guy Elton Britt. Okay. He played me an Elton Britt record. Same thing. My, the top of my head flew off. <laughs> I said, I've got to learn to do that. <laughs> Yeah. So I spend a lot of time in my truck uh, yodeling because 
you can't do this at home. You'll lose your <laughs> wife, your children, your, your neighbors, and your pets. We'll all <laughs> leave. But once you get it down, you know, then people seem to enjoy it. Oh, very nice. <laughs> well, we don't have a whole lot of time, but tell us about the record you did with Wilford Brimley is the new, re new recording project, Come on the Range. You made a record with Wilford Brimley, huh? Yeah, we did a benefit with him out in Wyoming in his hometown, or where he lives now, Gray Bull, Wyoming. And he sang, sat in with us, a couple of songs, sang Fraulein and uh, Cross the Alley from the Alamo. And mm -hmm. we walked off stage, and Joey said to him, you know, Wilford, we had to make a record. He said, OK, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so between selling catheters and uh, <laughs> oatmeal, <laughs> He came to Nashville and, and made a record. But the man us. is made of trustworthiness. You oh, just, the man. guy is just like. <laughs> <laughs> and what a great guy. And he's really got, you know, he's not a technically brilliant singer, but he's just got a great delivery. And you right. so believe it. Mm -hmm. He's just a professional actor and a great man and a wonderful singer. Oh. And it was really fun to make that record. And the stories. If he likes you, you you're going to hear good things about the guy. Right. And the guys he's worked with that he doesn't like, Boy, you're going to hear some great stories. About right on. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we should have time for more stories here. Um, someday we'll, we'll, we'll share some backstage. But uh, thank you, Doug. It's great to have you here. We're going to have Riders in the thank Sky you, later Greg. on in the final set. Ranger Doug Green, everybody. <laughs> Center stage from Vietti Chili. Looking good. Looking good in black. Oh, Ali thank you Sutton, so much. hi. <laughs> thank you. Well, Jake Stone and I wrote you a brand new jingle for tonight. So check out this word from our sponsor, Vietti Chili. Vietti Chili's better than all the rest Vietti Chili, you know it's gonna pass the test Just near the sun, sun, so come on and get you some Vietti Chili Before we get back to the show, I actually have to toss it back to Keith for a word from Star 129 Diamond. Thank you very much. Big hand for Allie, the Vietti Chili Girl. How about that? Well, speaking of shopping, I'm sure Allie will be quick to tell you Valentine's Day is coming up. And we know you want to go out and buy a diamond every day. But when there's a special occasion that demands the very best, you have to look at the amazing Star 129 Diamond. It's all about sparkle, and every Star 129 Solitaire is guaranteed to come with the industry's highest rating for scintillation, which is a fancy word for sparkle. Take a look at Star 129 Facebook page to see Master Cutters in action, turning an ordinary diamond into an extraordinary Star 129. It's been called the most significant advancement in diamond cutting technology since 1919. See the amazing Star 129 diamond for yourself at Select Fine Jewelers all over the country and here locally in Nashville at Forster's Diamond Outlet at their beautiful showroom on Hickory Hollow Parkway or visit Star129.com. And I cannot wait to see this next act, Jim Lauderdale. I Introducing. can't either. And that's yeah. coming from a man who puts the H, H. back into scintillation. Sin so thank scintillation. You, thank you. Well, folks, our next guest is the author of the award-winning self-help manual, The Sidekick Handbook, How to Unleash Your Inner Second Banana and Find True Happiness. He was also a driving force behind the 1960s Paul is Dead urban legend and the only living person known to have his compositions recorded by the songwriters mythical trifecta Tammy Wynette, William Shatner, and Don Rickles. <laughs> Folks, say no more. It's Freddie Labor. I laid up in the bed this morning, 
Okay, it was almost noon when my door flew off the hinges and my wife stomped into the room. She hit me with a coat hanger. She called me a worthless bum. She said it was come to Jesus' time and my lazy days were done. I said, it's these aspiration blues, honey. I got these sorry aspiration blues. Now when I'm just a little more rested, I might have the strength to lose these doggone aspiration blues. I said, oh, honey, please cut me some slack. Remember my deprived childhood? And of course, there's my bad back. She said, the only thing wrong with your back is it ain't got no bone. You better straighten up and fly right, Jack, or you'll back right out of this home, you and your aspiration blues. I'm tired of your fat old aspiration blue. I'll kick you out of this union unless you catch up on your dues and lose those aspiration blue. I know to get the rabbit out of the doggone log. You got to make a cow-cow commotion just like a doggone dog. Well, I may start tomorrow or I may start next year. But right now, I believe I'll park my aspiration here. I got the aspiration blue. These sorry aspiration blues. I just ease my foot off the gas and let this sucker cruise. And that's the aspiration blue. Oh, I'll get to it tomorrow, honey. You know I will. Would you put down that coat hanger? Somebody called Metro, reported domestic disturbance. Yeah. On the last day of July, Jimmy kissed his wife goodbye and went off to eat a pleasant noontime meal. But he swore to spill the beans on some dirty backroom scenes And somebody didn't want to hear him squeal Tell me who off off and where is Jimmy now? Can you tell me where the mighty teamster lies? Did he sink or did he swim? Did he fight to save his skin? Tell me who off off and why? Did some hitman from the mob get big money for the job? Was it someone Jimmy counted as a friend? Where RFK had failed when he had old Jimmy jailed, somebody else has finally done him in. Tell me who off top of where is Jimmy now? I wonder where the mighty teamster lies. Did they wrap him in a tarp? Is he organizing carp? Tell me who off top and why. Now when that great dispatcher, he finally calls me home. And I fly up to that truck stop in the sky. I'm gonna buy old Jim a cup of joe and I'll pump him for everything he knows. And then I'll know who killed him and why. Tell me who off top and where is Jimmy now? Can you tell me where the mighty teamster lies? Was that just some standing actor that they ran through that compactor? Tell me who off top and why? Was he blown to kingdom come? Is he under giant stadium? Tell me who off top and why? Tell me why? Hello, welcome to Music City Roots. Just like a big hand for John Mark Nelson. Was that a great band? They come all that way. I too came all the way to, from Joelton in a 2003 Honda Odyssey, ladies and gentlemen. That's, I'm glad to be on Music City Roots because it's on Hippie Radio, which is a, it's a great station. We all, those of us of a certain age, but the best part is that guy that does Soul Shine Pizza. Does the, do they advertise this show to Soul Shine Pizza? It doesn't matter if you got a bad hip, bad knee. We got valet parking for you there. Come on down, Soul Shine Pizza. 
and Bob Bits Fix Blue Band on Sunday afternoon in the Paradise Lounge. You can come by there. I love it. Uh, we're going to set my wife's birthday is Sunday. We will be at Soul Shine Pizza. That's where she wanted to go. So I came from Jolton, and I know you're saying, well, this is what an entertainer, but. This isn't the only thing I do. I'm also a folklorist. I have a knit vest. I have a little hat that I wear when I do folkloric rec research. And Joelton was settled by Scots people thousands of years ago. They came over on the land bridge, apparently, and then the <laughs> land bridge sank, leaving them primitive and isolated where they remain to this day, actually. So. But in the ancient times, they based their culture around the salting of the slug. They would, they would look, I know. They, they would locate a virgin slug. <laughs> Insert your own joke here. I know those days are over. That's my own personal joke. And, uh, and then to accompany its soul to slug head. They've discovered this in the caves under Jolton. There are renderings on the caves. And they, they've found that the, to accompany the slug soul to slug heaven, which in slug theology is a big dog's dish on God's back porch. They would sing this song, and I have, of course, learned this song. When first I came to Jolton, my fortune there to find, I met some jolly countrymen on barbecue we dined. The talk soon turned to manly sport while the Budweiser we took. But they said, lad, you can live till you have salt the slung. They raise it high, their shakers full of Morton's finest grain. We crept out to the garden damp to there begin the game. I watched each creature swell and pop. It thrilled me to the core, and every slug did learn that night that when it rains, it pours. So if you're Aaron Jolton, a quaffin chili brew, and hearty lads and lassies hair, do salt a slug or two, pray, join the sport and company. Forsaken sex or drugs God bless us jolly salters And take pity on the slug That belongs to everybody. I got a thumbs up from this guy over here. Are you employed here? Or are you just here to? You're just here. Sweep the floor. I used to sweep the floor at Vanderbilt, the third floor of the engineering building. I was uh, just another interesting fact. Uh, <laughs> When every day's lonely, when every day's bad When all your emotions are lonely and sad And the doc says you're depressed Well, don't pop that pill Cause here's a prescription the boys in the band can fill Just do the Prozac polka And lift your weary spirits to the sky Cause when you Prozac polka, you'll kiss your blues goodbye. Everybody, la 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 just sway to the squeeze box, bounce to the banjo beat. It's over the counter, it's free, it's your feet. Just do the Prozac polka. Perfect when your life's a wreck. Cause when you Prozac polka, there 
there's just one side effect. You sweat, la 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 la. This is for the East Nashville mom whose plate is just a little too full. La 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 la. la. For the sales rep stuck in a center seat on a flight that was just diverted to Cleveland. I was once just like you, so depressed I thought I'd die Till I heard Frank Yankovic play this sweet SSRI And now I Prozac, oh God And my libido stays intact Cause when you Prozac, oh God It doesn't make you fat Imagine that, la 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 la, everybody began to la 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 We'll kiss our blues goodbye, everybody will kiss our blues goodbye One more time, we'll kiss our blues goodbye What's that? Yeah, they're, they're good. What was that? One key? They're on key. This is Nashville. <laughs> on key. Duh. Uh, whilst downloading Durante, I wondered what he'd say if he could only see me this dawn and digital day. If he could only hear his voice coming through this box, I'll bet it'd send a shiver from Schnazola down to socks. I bet he'd say, I'm mystified, I'm petrified, I'm faint. How can I be here and there and everywhere I ain't? Well, I can't tell you, Jimmy, what makes the gizmos go. But sometimes ink a dink a do is all you got to know. Thank you so much. This is the sixth appearance for Say No More, Freddie Labore. This is the sixth one. <laughs> kind of magic, kind of a magic number. So we'll do one for all the truck drivers out there. A lot of truck drivers out there probably listening to Soul Sean Pizza on the... So. Well, I was putting the lid on a six-day run, a whole pipe. My hauling was almost done. I was wired. I was loaded down. I was burning from home and not a cop around. I passed a car on a curve. The old rig drifted. I geared down. And Lord, my dang load shifted. Yeah, my load shifted. I was off of the road. My load shifted. I was out of control. My load shifted. I was down in the ditch. My load shifted and snapped my hitch. My load shifted, my blood ran cold, and my load shifted, and old big mama rolled, and she rolled. And she rolled. Yes, she rolled. Well, I don't remember, but the state trooper said that when they got to the scene that I was out of my head just babbling. But when they cut me out of the cab, the medic said it, the boy it looks bad, I passed out. As the stretcher was lifting, had a nightmare about that dang load shifted. Yeah, my load shifted, I was out of control. My load shifted, I was off of the road. My load shifted, I was down in the ditch. My load shifted, that son of a... My load shifted, I prayed for my soul. My load shifted, and old big mama rolled, and she rolled. Let me survive Maybe to tell you about that ride And warn you, buddy When you're loaded for bear And you're burning for home I tell you, I've been there Slow down on that curve Take my tip You won't walk away When your dang load shifts Yeah, when your load shifts You'll be off of the road Your load shifts And you'll be out of control The load shifts And you'll be down in the ditch The load shifts And it snapped your hitch The load shifts And big mama rolled And my load shifted And she rolled And rolled And she rolled as you roll, as you roll, oh. Big Mama roll, as you roll, as you roll. V 
Vito back here on the monitors. Doing a great job, Vito. We got Joe out there in the house sound doing a great job. I'm talking Riders in the Sky. You know that band? Play cowboy music all over the land. Lost some brain cells, lost some hair. Not quite ready for the rocking chair. Not quite ready for the old folks' home. Because there's still a little snap in the old soup bone. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. In the old soup bone. Ranger Doug, he's yodeling sweet. Keeping that big fat 4-4 beat. He's drinking his coffee and greeting the day. Keeping us true to the cowboy way. He's got to do an interview on the phone. He said, there's still a little snap in the old soup bone. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. In the old soup bone. Woody Paul is the fiddler's name. You probably saw his plaque in the Hall of Fame. Searching for a note that's never been heard. Sad and sweet like the old night bird. Jamming with whoever till the cows come home. There's still a little snap in the old soup bone. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. In the old soup bone. Joey's token Slovenian, the best I ever heard on accordion. Plays it smooth, plays with power, fingers going 300 miles an hour. He spent a good life behind the microphone, says, Still a little snap in the old soup bone, there's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. In the old soup bone. There's too slim, he's working a deal. He's selling fly swatters at the mercantile. Got a God given head and a tuneful face. Cracking one winers and playing his bass. Holding up the bottom with a righteous tone. Still a little snap in the old soup bone. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. In the old soup bone. Thirty-six years up and down the trail, chasing them doggies and dogging them quail. Much wise man, but we got to go 700 miles to tomorrow night's show. Yup, we're crazy and we ought to go home, but there's still a little snap in the old soup bone. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. There's still a little snap. In the old soup bone. Ho, 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 ho. It's Freddie Labar. Mighty fine. Say no more. It's Freddie Labar, everybody. Mighty fine, sir. Mighty fine. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. Uh, Keith, uh, that was some of the most serious, dramatic acting I've ever seen. And I, I like the band. That band yes. was fabulous. Yes. I mean, good stuff. And the hat's rather dashing. It is. Yeah. It is. Well, um, you know, Keith, uh, I'm always trying to get you to join me to do things, and uh, I'd like to get everybody to join us here out there, on to join us on Facebook, Twitter, and you can subscribe to our Music City Roots YouTube channel, which has passed 7 million views. How about that, huh? And we'll notify you whenever new videos are posted. Now, just think about this, oh. Jim. If you sold a CD for every person that viewed, you wouldn't be here right now. You'd be a rich man. No, I would. You I would, would still be you here. But so that much. is a, a, great, a great thought, yeah. Keith. If everybody that watched YouTube with just the YouTube channel of Music City Roots, would just reach out mm -hmm. and buy one CD from my website. You should have been a preacher. Yeah. One of those seven million, you know, the world would be a better place. Hey, but I got a special offer for you. If 
you buy a Jim Lauderdale CD, and the next half hour, he will send you a personally autographed picture wearing this jacket. Now, that's a bargain, <laughs> Keith. That is a, that is a bargain. You know, I'll tell you what. I love my Kirkland's couch. That's and it's nice. got It's got my own special stash thing, yeah. my secret uh, stash no, where I can there's, there's no put my, you know, anything, you yeah. know, I need in there. But, um, you know, Keith, uh, Keith, my friend, by the way... I know we're not eligible for the Kirkland's $1,000 no, shopping spree, no. but I have a brother. People often mistake us for twins. His name is uh, Tim. Tim Lauderdale. Tim. Tim and, and, and he really wants to enter the drawing. Uh, he's, he's fallen on some hard times, and uh, he really, really wants to enter the drawing. Yeah, There's no and, Tim Lauderdale in there, is there? Jim's biscuits. Now, for the rest of you here in the barn, we'll settle this later. Turn in your entries tonight for the big Kirkland's Dream Room giveaway. And if you're listening to the broadcast, go to kirklands.com slash roots. The slash in the roots is very important. That's kirklands.com slash roots to enter a $1,000 shopping spree prize at Kirkland's. It's going to be something else. Saving for your child's education, purchasing or refinancing a home, buying a car, taking the trip of a lifetime, whatever your financial goals, the Send Federal Credit Union can help you reach them. Find your forever home, finance it with one of Ascend's low-rate mortgages. If you need a more dependable vehicle, we've got somebody here from Ascend tonight. Let's talk about that, okay? I've been looking at this Nissan Altima. I really, really, wait a minute, that's a personal thing. I, I don't need to do that, but I will talk to you later, okay? Yeah, apply online. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Ascend's flexible rates and terms can put you back on the road. If you have a child in college, make sure she has an Ascend youth account with a fixed rate student visa. And the more you use the resources available to you at Ascend, the bigger your bonus, dividend, and loan interest refund at the end of the year. What about access? Well, with a growing number of surcharge-free ATMs, mobile accounting monitoring, and electronic bill payment, Ascend has the tools to keep you in touch with your finances. Rely on Ascend to help you reach your goals. Call 1-800-342-3086 or visit ascendfcu.org to learn more. Experience personal financial service that aims higher. Ascend Federal Credit Union, raising possibilities. An equal housing lender, Ascend, is federally insured by the NCUA. Membership is limited. You know, i got to start being nicer to Jim. I need a co-signer on that Altima. Well, you're listening to Music City Roots on Nashville's Hippie Radio, WHPY, Bellevue, Nashville, 94.5 on your FM dial. Hippie Barb is with us tonight. Hey, Hippie Barb, how you doing? Staying warm? Okay, good deal. And, of course, we're broadcasting live from the big old barn out behind the world-famous Loveless Cafe at the intersection of Highway 100 and the historic Natchez Trace Parkway. For more than 30 years, the Loveless Cafe has been shipping out everything from biscuit mix to bacon, and those famous homemade preserves are downright delicious. You can go online and view the new catalog of gift baskets at catalog.lovelesscafe.com. Now it's time to go back to Craig over in the chat room, sponsored by Griffin Technology, making it easier for you to connect to play. Craig, look out. Uh, thanks, man. He's, uh, he's told me he is going to say some more Freddy Labor. Yeah, yeah, say One no more. more. Man, uh, this is fun. Gig number six. Is. This is my sixth appearance. Well, that would be uh, saying something if the first one hadn't been when you were 25 years old. What's been going on? <laughs> I've been traveling with Riders in the Sky, actually. Do I have a theory that yes. uh, you needed to do this after 30-some years of stiff propriety exactly. and uh, exactly. the narrow con constraints yeah. of Riders I'm like, in the Sky. I'm, li I'm like the old guy in the nursing home who can't stop entertaining. <laughs> you know the guy in the white, he has white New Balance shoes and he's just walking around, waka waka. Yeah. That's me. People say, stop. But I <laughs> I just told, can't I just told, stop. I can't stop. No, talk about what, uh, what led to gig number one. That's what we should tell the story about. Well, uh, I just have had these songs around for a while. And uh, so why not? Why not do them? 
Where'd you go? Where'd you do that? I did it at Christ Church down in, uh, uh, it was a sacred space. So it, was, it seemed appropriate and uh, uh, where I go to church. So were you, were you trying to get kicked out of a church just to build the lore? The, la- of the, the, lady, the, asked me, the lady asked me to come do it. Okay. And I said, I, I don't have an hour's worth of material. Oh, yeah, you do. You can come <laughs> do it. So, so I did it. And it's brought me to the Music City Roots. It's brought me to hippie radio. I'm like the pickle. You know the pickle? You know you go to the fine deli and you order a nice sandwich. And you don't think about the pickle. You don't order a pickle. You, know, you, don't, you didn't go there for the pickle. Yeah, but if it didn't show up, I would be mad. Exactly. But yeah. when your sandwich comes, there's the pickle. Yeah. And you like it, and it adds something to the meal. That's me. I'm the pickle. <laughs> I'm not the sandwich. Have you been writing songs that didn't find a, a place in the band all these years? Or, you know, what's, as a songwriter, yeah. has, the, has the writers been the outlet that you'd hoped, or are there other, other songs that just didn't fit? There's, a, there's songs that didn't fit. Yeah. When I was writing for Don Rickles, mm-hmm. I just couldn't see Ranger Doug singing, yeah. singing Don Rickles' song. Midway Mania. You, you know Mr. Potato Head that Mr., that, uh, from Toy Story? Of course. It's voiced by Don Rickles. They, they asked us to write songs for him to sing the animatronic Potato Head at Disneyland, Disney ah, World. I so see. we created songs for uh, Joey. So that wasn't a big... Midway Mania, from Albuquerque to Albania. All right. So, uh, yeah, I read your bio. I thought, he's making this up. But no, that was real. I make up a lot of stuff. That Tammy Wynette and William Shatner... And Don Rickles, the mythical trifecta. I think I'm the only person on the planet that can say that. That's about. I'm I think I don't think Ben Folds can say that. <laughs> I think I'm the only one. What was working on Toy Story uh, yep. like? Now, you, was the movie done by the time you guys got your songs ready to go, or was it was the script being written? I tell us a little about the logistics. It was Pretty a huge much. breakout for you guys, and it won the Grammy. It was it was a, a big breakout for us, and it won a Grammy. Yep. And they called us up. The they, they, the Randy Newman wrote a song called Woody's Roundup, and they had a, he had this little 30-second demo of him playing piano in Randy Newman-esque style, and it was not what they needed. So they, uh, they said, we needed a, a band that sounds like that would have been playing cowboy music in the 50s. They went to our website, downloaded Yodel. We had a fan at Pixar, actually. Okay. And so uh, he said, these are the guys that might do it, and they, they downloaded Ranger Doug Yodeling, and uh, they said, yep, that's it. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, Randy called us up and said, you guys know what you're doing. I've heard your records. You, you should go ahead and just arrange it how you want. And, sure. and so we did. And that was the deal. Record it here and send it in there? Did you get to go no. to Hollywood and we be went part to of Hollywood. We went to Hollywood. We were with the Disney people. There were about 50 accountants with laptop computers. <laughs> they were the Disney people. And then there were four people in Hawaiian shirts. They were the Pixar <laughs> people. Right. And then there were, there was us in our cowboy outfits. And I had my shaps and big hat. Randy Newman put on my shaps and did, did off-color things with them. <laughs> Wore my hat. Yeah, it was pretty entertaining, actually. We had a great time. Had a great day. Well, you've been having a good time with riders uh, all this time. And uh, give me a little sense of how it's been keeping the material moving and keeping, you know, who, how do the new stuff works in, the old jokes go away, the new songs. That's got to be an interesting challenge because... When, I, like, I hear comedians who will say they write their show, do it for a year, throw it out, start anew. But I imagine you guys kind of, things morph yeah, a little more than well, that. Well, Minnie Pearl said, you know, you've got to do some of the stuff that you did before, and then you've got to add a few new things in as you go. And she had a long track record and was, was uh, certainly a great inspiration to us. So I think that's kind of the way we do it. We also, we've been around so long now that we have bits that we did 30 years ago yeah. that we drag out and do now. And everybody says, oh, man, that's great, all that new stuff. <laughs> we were doing it at Wind in the Willows back in the day. Anybody remember Wind in the Willows back? Yeah, sure. And nobody's going to call you out on it. Take yeah. advantage of people's short memories. Exactly. Oh, right. man, it's been so much fun seeing you guys uh, over these years. And, and uh, whether it's the Opry or whether it's uh, Prairie Home Companion or whether, hey, here, we, we enjoyed you guys here about three years ago. And you're back. Great to Thanks be back. for being Freddie for us, too. Say no the more. Real, the real Fred exactly. Labor. All uh, right. Freddie Lamar, one more time, y'all. Say no more. Watch for him at a church near you. Jim. The late, great avant-garde band leader, Sun Ra, taught us years ago that space is the place. And for a few minutes here tonight, that's where we are heading. The funky soul revival that's going on in Nashville was spearheaded by this man and this band. So if you feel the urge to dance... 
By all means, please. It's pretty much mandatory when these guys are on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Space Capone. <laughs> Searching for You gotta let 
for love Well, baby, now you're from good anyway And it always happens like this We get something that they just won't keep Space Capone. We're from East Nashville, Tennessee. So to you that means you take a hundred for about 45 minutes, you get on 440 for about 20 minutes, 65 for another 20, Shelby exit for 15 or 20. <laughs> it's good to be here. We feel like we're in a completely different place though, no offense. We're gonna slow it up for you. Friday night, when you pass me by, I thought about you and me, but if only we could meet. She's on top of the games, probably thinks I'm too cool to meet. If my baby's not down, we can carry on in any way. Mm 
things to cool the meat. But this my baby, it's not long we can carry on in any way. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure being here. Thank you for being such a great audience and allowing some hooglins, some, uh, some, uh, some different people to come up and grace this stage. We, uh, we really appreciate you all and your, uh, your passion for music and you for being here and for opening this place up to us. So uh, again, we're Space Capone from so far away that you probably don't want to drive there.
for Space Capone. Thank you so much. It's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Space Capone. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, I'll tell you what, Keith, that's that's putting the scald on things, Whoa, isn't it? I like that. Oh boy, you know, Keith, I, I'm not a dancer. I'm not a dancer, but that wore me out just just watching them. <laughs> I thought the Bee Gees were back together. I didn't I know. know. <laughs> just kidding. I know. No, no, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Well folks, I want to turn things over to the man who puts the try back into trifecta, Mr. Keith Bilbrey. Try back into, I'll, I'll try, Jim. You know, the Nature Conservancy protects nature not only for its own sake, but also because nature sustains our health and our way of life. The trees that clean our air, the rivers that supply our drinking water, and so much more. Visit nature.org slash Tennessee to learn more about the Nature Conservancy and what they're doing for you and for nature here and around the world. Hey, guys and gals, I want to remind you that French's Boots is your headquarters this winter for the best deals on Justin Boots and more. French's can outfit you from your head to the heel of your classic Justin brand boots or Justin Gypsies for the ladies at the best prices anywhere. Step out in style with our great selection of jeans, shirts, and hats, and let them custom fit you with that pair of Justin Western or Justin Gypsy boots that you've always wanted. Downtown on 2nd Avenue, one of the best looking boot stores I think I've ever seen in my life. Down there, you can uh, sit back in the fitting room and watch the Cumberland River flow by while you try on your boots. Something else. Of course, uh, they're all over Tennessee. French's Shoes and Boots, just look for the sign. You're going to find a great selection and great prices. Check out MusicCityBoots.com and click on Justin Brand Boots. And now over to the <laughs> chat room. That's right. A a has he caught his breath yet? Uh, Craig, no. Craig with Space Capone over there. Otherwise known as the Go-Go Quarter over here. Aaron Winters is Space Capone, everybody. Man. It's as if your music has an effect on people. I love how the second and third dancers were the uh, first band. Right. It took them to tip it over the edge. We paid them off backstage, if you only knew. <laughs> no, man. Um, I guess that's why you must have started this thing, to start a good party. And the grooves just, uh, you know, they, yeah. Dude, I, I grew up listening to country um, and, 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 uh, and old school uh, tunes. They don't have the, uh, the oldie stations anymore. You know, they used to have like 104.5, the oldies oh, right. in, in Indiana. Um, and that's where I went uh, for, for most of my songs. Um, and now I just, I, I go diving for, for old records. That's, that's how we draw our inspiration. Well, there's kind of an era here, that, that feel, those, those kinds of chords and those, those, those beats you know, kind of scream 70s. Mm -hmm. It's Earth, Wind, and Fire, and I mean, it was all on our television. I mean, the theme songs for the, all the TV shows back then, and that's my youth. I mean, you know, that's when I'm 10 yeah. to 15 years old. We have, a, we have an album, Shameless uh, Self-Promotion. We have an album back, back oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's that, what it's here for. <laughs> that's what this place um, is called. It's the Griffin but, self -promotion, Shameless Self-Promotion Room. <laughs> On the album is a guy named Jerry Hay. He, he, um, he did uh, most of the, uh, the string arrangements, and Jerry Hay did all the string arrangements for uh, Thriller and Off the Wall. So wow, we, really? we, we kind of went back to the source, and we said, you know, if, if we want to make this type of music, you know, why not get some of the guys that originally did it mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, go back to the source. And, you know, there's always somebody that did it better than, than you did. Well, you know, that's, that's interesting. You, you made me think of this. You know, when I hear guys, I interview guys who play bluegrass, and they... They start with a certain amount of enthusiasm and, and, and feel, but they realize with time that there is a certain kind of little things you've got to do to get the authenticity to come out and to make things balance right and to get the, the timing of their music right. And I imagine, did you guys go through a phase with that where like, how do we get this to really click just the way the records we love clicked? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, it's all been done before, obviously. You know, there's only a few, few chords, a few notes that you can use in songs. Um, but I think, so, uh, as far as songwriting is concerned, um, what's really important to me is not uh, writing a song that sounds too similar to another song sure. that you've already heard on the radio. Um, and that's where we started, and, and, and on top of that, just trying to maintain the, the same feel that those 70s, uh, early 80s songs had. 
Um, and a lot of that comes with the, the guys that we work with. Like I was saying, um, that we work with Jerry Graydon, who uh, played with Steely Dan for years, uh, Jerry Hay, um, even recorded at the same place that, that Michael did a lot of those albums at. Um, so we, we, we pride ourselves on being good students of music. Yeah. And a lot of people ask us, you know, if, if, um, if we're listening to what's, you know, hip on the radio. And I, don't, I never have any clue. It's because there's, there's, so yeah. much, there's so much other great music to listen to that, right. that uh, we need to catch up on, I guess. Well, well when we met, you, you talked talk about this, uh, you as a songwriter, uh, making a very conscious shift from a, a feel that would have been more in line with uh, the, the singer-songwriters we see in Nashville or folks who write on Music Row, and said, you know, i got to do something more different. And, and, and this was a very... You took a, st a conscious step to achieve this sound. Sure, I mean, I, it, it was a it was an attempt to separate myself from all the other songwriters that were doing a very similar thing in mm -hmm. town ten years ago when I got here, um, and it's it's uh, it's worked out for us. It's, it's definitely not a novelty act because we're, we're not a, a cover band. It's all yeah. original tunes, obviously, but yeah. it's something that is uh, completely different than anything else that's going on in, in Nashville. For sure. uh, in Nashville, over the last few years, we've seen a lot more kind of retro soul and R&B. We've seen St. Paul and the Broken Bones and Alana Royale, and, and they've got some of that same feel. And it's, uh, you can see people both waking up to something that they feel like they grew up on and something very nourishing, but also feeling like taking pride that there's this new music being made here. And it's very Nashville in that respect. Plus, you've got the skill set. How does the band get assembled? Have you had a very consistent Group people, or is it, does it require some shuffling with a band this big? For the past big? four years, it's been the same, uh, but I, I've been doing this for 10 years, so it was a, it was a process getting to the point where I, I had the same unit of guys that were consistently going out with me. Okay. And, and it's not just so much um, you know, how well they play their instruments, it's, it's about how well we, we get along as a unit. Yeah. You know, we got to sleep next to each other and eat kind of <laughs> lodges and, and, and stay up late nights and get along, and, and, and that's, that's why we've been doing it for as long as we have, because we all really enjoy each other. It's like yeah, a, a slumber party you every week. You're having fun. Yeah. What's the current recording called so we know? Is it the self-titled one or? The self-titled, Space Capone. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be back there, along with t-shirts. Anything coming in this in 2014? We're uh, releasing a single in March. Great. Um, and then another album in early summer. So. Oh, well, that's pretty soon. Yeah. OK. Always working. Space Capone they are. He is Aaron Winters. He is Space Capone, and they are Space Capone. Thank you, guys. Awesome fun. I think we're in the middle of one of the greatest uh, craziest, and now for something completely different trifecta as we've ever had at Music City Roots. But that's how we roll. That's right. Go, Jim. Friends, I'm not one of those my way or the highway kind of guys, because I know there's another way, a better way, and that's the cowboy way. For 35 years, these gentlemen on stage have been reminding us of the virtues of the cowboy way. 36 years. For 36 years. It's full of harmony and companionship. It's the way of clear skies and wide rivers. It'll keep you young and tickle your funny bone. You know who I'm talking about. Grammy Award winning Western music superstars, writers in the sky. I want to drink my chopper from an old tin can while the moon goes riding high. I want to hear the sound of the whippoorwill. I want to hear the coyotes cry. I want to feel my saddle horse between Riding him out on the rain Just to kick him in the side Make him show a step and pride Back on those Texas plains Somehow it seems I'm back in my dreams Way back where I belong I'm Music City I'm just an old cow hand From the Rio Grande Back where I was born Oh, these city ways and these city lights are driving me insane. I wanna be alone, I wanna be back home, back on those Texas plains. 
mighty fine in a great big western howdy it's riders in the sky america's favorite cowboys bring you the best in western music live and direct from music city roots so don't touch that dial saddle pals it wouldn't be the cowboy way i want to drink my job of frozen old tin gay Mighty fine and a great big western howdy. What a treat it is for riders in the sky to be here at Music City Roots for the 6,545th appearance of our long and checkered 36-year career. Wow. Let me take a second to introduce this to you. Over here to my left, your right, a man who stood by my side for every one of those 36 years, aging like fine cheese. <laughs> a man we call Too Slim. Say no more, it's Too Slim. Thank you very much. Over to my right, star of the forthcoming motion picture, Oh Brother, Where Am I? That's Woody Paul, the king of the cowboy fiddlers. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much. You. Keep your seats. That's okay. Over to his right, the man who introduced twerking into Western music, Joey the Cow Polka King. Thank you, friends. Thank you, all of you. And here he is, the idol of American youth, governor of the great state of rhythm, a man on his way to stole some pizza, Ranger <laughs> Doug. Yeah. An old cow open riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he rode along his way When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw Plowing through the ragged sky And up the cloudy draw Yippee-i-a Yippee-i-o Yosh! Yow! Get him! A ghost herd their horns are black and shiny and their hooks are made of steel Their brands are still on fire and their hot breath he could feel A bolt of fear shot through him as they thundered through the sky For he saw the riders coming high And he heard their mournful cry Yet the eye Ghost riders in the sky Their faces gaunt, their eyes are blurred Their shirts all soaked with sweat They're riding hard to catch that herd But they ain't caught them yet Cause they've got to ride forever On that range up in the sky On horses snorting fire As they ride on Yippee-i-yay, yippee-i-o Ghost riders in the sky Looked on by him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell or riding on our range, then cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd across the 
across these endless skies. Yippee I A. Yippee I O. So much. Fine cowboy ghost story. That's we, right, uh, A couple of years ago, we ventured out to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Woody Paul was inducted into the National Fiddler Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's right. The living category. <laughs> oh, boys, let's do some fiddle tunes tonight. Here we go. Thank you so much. Woody, 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 Woody. I never had a lesson. Well, it hasn't been too awfully many years ago that the fine people at Pixar Motion Pictures called us up and said, Would you like to sing the song Woody's Roundup in the movie Toy Story 2? That's right. And we, of course, said yes, and that was a great big deal for us. The, uh, Led to a couple of albums on the Walt Disney label. Both those albums were nominated for Grammy Awards, and both of them won Grammy. Yeah, both Grammy awards, exactly right. Two Grammys, folks. Two, two Grammys. How exciting. It was incredible. You've seen it on TV through the years, I'm sure, but to be there in this oh. giant auditorium, Whoa. the lights, 
the cameras, the paparazzi, thousands of the most glamorous people you've ever seen in that gorgeous starlet in the slinky gown, any of those big golden trophies on that stage. Yes, the starlet with the big golden trophies, yes. Yep. Perk me right up, folks. I'll never forget that night. Never will forget that. <laughs> There's a little room backstage. Triumph you... of engineering. It's like, <laughs> never... it's like the Natchez Trace, you know? It's just Very expensive, too. <laughs> it was. Well, well worth it. <laughs> there... <laughs> There was yeah. a, uh, there's a little room backstage, as I've been trying to say, where you you wait to go on, and there's a jammed elbow to elbow with the 250 biggest stars in the recording industry. Yep. Beyonce, right there. Wow. Right. Tony Bennett, yeah. the legends, there's, hanging out yeah. with them. Yeah, Bruce Springsteen yeah. standing Unbelievable. Right yeah. We're the only ones there that I'd never heard of before. Too Slim, was, too Slim was over at the Punch Bowl talking to Eminem. I was talking to Eminem. I said, yo, I'm Too Slim. Yes, I'm the real Slim. All the other Too Slims, I'm not the same as him. Will the real Too Slim please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. Yo, my name's Too Slim, and I'm here to say that I'm going to entertain you in the cowboy way. I'm going to varma dance. I'm going to play my bass. I'm going to get down and my play my face. Yo. Word. Eminem's going to be on this stage. Eminem's coming in the Music City Roots. In about 35 years. Really? <laughs> the I Remember Rap Tour. <laughs> A nostalgic look at a bygone era. Oh my. <laughs> I can just picture the audience to that show. <laughs> a lot of really old people in baggy shorts. <laughs> With a lot of tattoos saying, what was I thinking? <laughs> Look, it's just a little butterfly. <laughs> what a beautiful introduction to our medley of children's songs. Yes. <laughs> From our first Grammy Award winning album. Three, four. Woody's Roundup, right here every day. Woody's Roundup, come on, it's time to play. There's Jesse the old encounter. Bullseye, he's Woody's horse. He's a smart man. He's, he's the old prospector. And Woody, the man himself, of course, it's time for Woody's Roundup. He's the very best. He's the rudest, tunest cowboy in the wild, wild west. She was born in Oklahoma, in the rolling Osage Hills, and she rode her pinto pony at full gallop for her thrills. Her yodel swept the country, an epidemic that all caught us. Now everybody knows her as the epic Lotus goddess. They call her Jessie, the Oakland cowgirl, as dainty as a fairy. Princess of the Prairie. Yes, yeah, she's Jessie, the Oatland Cowgirl. She rides along in the Oatland Song from dawn till dusk till dawn. Cause she's Jessie, the Oatland Cowgirl. <laughs> got a friend in me you got a friend in me when the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed now just remember what your old pal said boy you've, you've got, got a friend, friend in me you've got a friend Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am Bigger and stronger too Maybe 
But none of them will ever love you the way I do It's me and you And as the years go by Our friendship will never die You're gonna see it's our destiny You've got a friend Snap of the old soup bone. Coo Slim, Ranger yes. Doug, Woody Paul, Joey the Cow Polka King. Thanks to Jim and Craig for having us here. It's been a delight. Keith Bilbrey. Keith Bilbrey, the great Keith Bilbrey. A man, who's, a man who has read the sidekick handbook. And profited from Student, it. Yes. And the chicken cooks, too. <laughs> the chicken cooks. Good chicken. Whoever cooked that chicken, yep. You know, Keith, Joe Biden's been seen reading that book as well. It's a <laughs> sidekick handbook. How's that working out for him? It's working out great. He's, he's doing great. Yeah. He's going to get a heck of a pension. <laughs> <laughs> Happy trails to you. Everybody sing with us. Come on. Until we meet again. I was just kidding. That's okay. Happy trails Everybody began to sway back and forth. Keep smiling under them Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather And happy trails to you And you, and you too, Owen, you too, Marshall Till we meet Remember, friends, never take a sleeping pill and a laxative at the same time uh, always drink upstream from the herd. Jen. Jen. And may the horse be with you. The one and only Riders in the Sky. Riders in the Sky, everybody. Oh, gosh, that was mighty fine. Thank y'all so much. Hey, don't go far. Now, don't go away. And don't go away, folks, because we're getting ready to have the loveless jam after this word from some of our fine sponsors. You got to pick a song? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's locked away in a safe. If he tells us, he'll have to kill us. That's the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it goes. I never know, know myself. The last moment. You know, we always ask that you support our sponsors because they support us. They allow us to do our thing, bring you music in fresh and innovative, innovative ways. I'll get it out in a minute, which is why we're so proud to have Nissan as one of our sponsors. Innovation is what Nissan's all about. Not only does Nissan support Music City Roots, they also support a variety of other artistic endeavors throughout the community. As Music City Roots continues to shake things up in the world of music, Nissan's doing the very same thing in the automotive world. Just recently, Nissan unveiled the all-new Altima, Pathfinder, and Sentra. And out this spring, the all-new Versa Note. Nissan's new hatchback. Nissan's local motto of Nashville Proud has never been more timely and appropriate. Not only are their vehicles innovative, their relationship with this great city grows deeper each and every day. We hope you'll check out Nissan on Facebook and become friends with them. Just search Nissan to join the community and find out more about their upcoming models and boundary-pushing innovations. Thank you from us, and thank you from Nissan. And we'd like to give a shout-out to our friends at Digitech, 
the official office equipment provider here at Music City Roots. Just take a look at those beautiful programs for a sample of their quality. You can find them at digitechllc.com. I want to mention a good friend of mine that's in the audience tonight. You've seen him on television many times. Great singer and entertainer. We've been friends for a long time. Used to do the old Ralph Emery show together. Mr. Tom Grant and his lovely wife, Beverly Grant. Good to see you. Known to rock and rollers all over the world as Bebop Dandy. Yeah, the Tutti Fruity Sweethearts. Craig, what have you got? It was, uh, tonight was a, a mashup, wasn't it? Boy, Just it was great. Mashup. What a great run, a great round of, uh, of artists doing their thing. Uh, John Mark Nelson kicked us off. Amazing. Say no more. Freddie Labore, thanks a lot. Of course, he's part of Riders in the Sky and Space Capone. The Blackstone Brewery lineup tonight. Truly shown. That was awesome oh, was stuff. Great. Uh, next week on tap is uh, a five-act show uh, welcoming back a guy who was just blew us away with his entertaining powers. Vance Gilbert is returning. We're going to hear from Darden Smith, Compass Recording Garden Darden Smith, who's probably the tallest songwriter we've ever had. Uh, the Sleepy Man Banjo Boys, the youngest bluegrass band we've ever had. They're amazing. They forget straight off of the Dave Letterman show and stuff. These guys, the little little kids are famous. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to hear from Piers Faccini and Modoc. So some emerging artists there. Tickets online at musiccityroots.com. And tomorrow night, join us online because we're up, uh, up in Chattanooga for Scenic City Roots. And we're going to be having a little shout out to the spirit of Tennessee music. We're doing a little partnership with the Oxford American and their uh, annual Southern Music Issue, which has been out since December. I'm about halfway through it. It's a big read. <laughs> the, um, the CD this year is incredible, 50 songs, and just a journey, absolutely amazing. So tomorrow night, we've got uh, Angel Snow on the bill, and Kenny Vaughn and Sam Lewis, who played here not too long ago, and the Ninth Street Stompers from Chattanooga, and we're going to have some uh, expertise up there about the Chattanooga, Chattanooga music history, and uh, read a little bit from the Oxford American, give a few away, sell a few, and it's going to be a good night. So... We'll be, on the, we'll, we'll be on the old interweb. Looking forward to it. Going to head for Chattanooga tomorrow. Come down and join us if you get a chance. Big thanks to all our sponsors, Kirkland's, French's Shoes and Boots, The Loveless Cafe, Old Smoky Moonshine, Griffin Technology, Nissan North America, Star 129 Diamond, Vietti Chili, Ascend Federal Credit Union, The Nature Conservancy, and Sound Image. Let's give them all we love a them big all. hand. And we'd like to thank all the gang at Sound Image for taking such good care of the live sound here in the barn. You'll find these guys on tour with just about anybody who's anybody with offices from Los Angeles to Nashville. If you need professional sound, large or small, just take a look at sound-image.com. They're a proud sponsor of this final segment. And now all of our guest artists who we just mentioned have returned to the stage for the Loveless Jam, where we encourage all the musicians to stretch out on a favorite song and to find out what that song is, Jim, I must mention that I, I, was, I was so proud of you being the, the strong person right until the end. Uh, this man openly wept uh, watching the Super Bowl last Sunday, and I, I thought that was a manly thing to do. It was, it was tough, I know, but you held it till the last Thank you second. for bringing up that fresh yeah. wound. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Jim Lauderdale! <laughs> Thank you, and thanks for the... Man that puts the hume back into humiliation. Hume. Keith Bilberry, ladies and gentlemen. Keith Bilberry always got Thank something you. to set my self esteem back another four years. We try. Every time we he try. opens his mouth. But, uh, <laughs> Keith, well, you know, we, we have to do this song tonight. We just must. And sing along with us on the, the choruses. It's called Take Me Back to Tulsa. Yeah. Who's that girl with the red dress on? Some folks call her Dinah. Up and stole that heart of mine way down in Louisiana. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa. 
I'm too young to marry. Little B sucks the blossom, Big B makes the honey. Poor man raised the cotton, and rich man makes the money. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Talk to Susie. Walk and talk to Susie. Walk and talk to Susie. That's a tough verse, man. Walk I tell you. Talk to Susie. Take me back to Georgia. I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm too young to marry. down to the loveless cafe and get a big plate of barbecue that's right take me back to tulsa i'm too young to marry take me back to tulsa i'm too young to marry City Roots. Music City Roots is a production of Hang Dye Media. Executive producer John Walker and Todd Mayo would like to wish a very happy 25th birthday to Ashley Moore, our merchandise girl, and to Cody Seaver. Happy birthday to both of you. We appreciate all the hard work and long hours. And of course, a big thanks to our friends at Hippie Radio. Don't forget to join us as we webcast a special celebration this Sunday of the 50th anniversary of the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show at the beautiful new Omni Hotel downtown. Keep it tuned to Hippie Radio 94.5 on your FM dial for all the details. We're glad you joined us this week for Music City Roots, live from the Loveless Cafe. I'm Keith Bilbrey, and from the edge of Music City, good night. Hang on.